Hello everybody and welcome to Seven Days to Die. Not God of the Dead, not yet, possibly. Oop. They updated, finally, to Alpha 11. And we are now on, what did they say, Unity 5 engine? I believe that's what it was. So, everything changed. I lost my save games. Um, so now, basically, I'm starting all over again. But this time is going to be slightly different. I have a server. And I've got a couple people on it. God only knows how long this is going to last, though. Yeah, so... The game is significantly harder, hence the not called God of God of the Dead this time round, because I don't even know if it's possible to get that far anymore, considering how hard this game is. I mean, you guys saw I survived two days fairly easily without dying, without really even coming close to dying. I was playing the new version, this Alpha 11, and I died mm, three times on the first night, or first day, I should say. I don't... Did I... No. I survived the first night, but I most definitely did not survive the day. Died a couple times. Um, but we are... Or, well, I'm playing now on our server, which I believe is a Navazgeen, or however you pronounce it, server. So it's the pre-rendered world, not a uh, random gen, which I was kind of hoping... I tried to set up a random gen. I wanted to set up a random gen, but uh, I, I think there's a setting somewhere that I misinterpreted somewhere, or there might be a glitch, or I might be completely mistaken. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't explored this area too much. Now, as I said, there are a lot, and I mean a lot, of changes. Um, the zombies are a lot more vicious. The stone axe that I have in my hand is a lot more useless. Not completely useless, but uh, it doesn't... It doesn't do what it used to do. It takes damage very quickly. It doesn't hurt zombies as much as it used to. It's still the beginning universal tool, but it's not that powerful anymore. Backpack, backpack. I'm still going to try my best to survive, and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully... Oh, I really don't give a crap about building weapons right now. I really, really don't. Mostly, I need to keep my inventory as clear of useless stuff as possible right now. And, obviously, useless will change as I play this game. But for right now, I just need the initial useful stuff. Which I guess technically doesn't count the goldenrod flowers, because, well, I'm not there yet. I don't have a cooking pot. Um, let's see, it's relatively new world. Well, the server's been running all night. But I've played for maybe, maybe a half a day, and that was me just running around making sure things were actually working. There we go. Yeah, you can tell the textures are significantly better on, like, everything, including the zombies. Uh, there's new stuff everywhere. Oop. And I had to completely rejigger all of the visual settings to get this to work properly. Because uh, they change, like, everything. They've started to optimize the game. So it's actually running fairly well. I'm currently running at 30 frames per second. But when I'm not recording, I can usually get 60. It'll sit at 60 and it will stay there. Except that every once in a great while it, like, jumps. Like, it skips a couple frames or something. Ah, oh, crap. I'm going to die already. I have a broken leg, and I forgot about that. Yeah, I broke my leg when I was playing earlier. I was tempted... I was gonna try to clear out that area, but... Yeah, no. Not gonna happen. So, we shall keep on running. Um... 
what else have they changed? Like I said, zombies are far, far more vicious now. Nighttime is basically a death trap. If you don't find a good place to stick around for the night and clear it out, you're pretty much screwed for the night. Um, rot flesh, scrap lead. This down here has all changed, where it has your food, hydration, health, stamina. That's changed. Obviously, the uh, food and water and the health and stamina have cha or have switched places. And you can see that it's smaller. Basically, it's doing what I wanted it to do. It's showing what I have currently for health and stamina and what the max is. And that max changes dependent on your wealth or well-being. Well-being? Boop. Boop. Wellness. That's it. And it's currently 99 out of 200. What are you? Snow. I was in a snow biome at one point. Hmm. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. Yeah, I'd be more tempted to go after these zombies, but uh, it's pretty vicious around here. The zombies, you know how if you hit them in the head, they'd fall backwards, and then you could back up, and then do it again, and again, and again. And basically, you could kill, you know, several dozen zombies without getting hit. Well, that stagger effect doesn't happen all the time anymore. It, uh, you know, there's a chance of it happening, but it doesn't always happen. So, that little st strategy doesn't work. Which, of course, makes permadeath runs of this game damn near impossible. Well, it is supposed to be a really, really hard game, but uh, I... I don't know. I just kind of feel like they overdid it on the difficulty. Mm. Yeah, but at least it's difficulty... Well, how do I explain that? It's not difficult like the old games. That's a radiation zone, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's a radiation zone. That's why I think it's not a, a pre-rendered world, because the pre-rendered worlds have the radiation zones, whereas the random gens don't, at least according to the wiki. However, I don't recognize any of this, um, but I've never been... Or I didn't explore the Navas, the pre-rendered world all that much. So I can't say it for sure. Oh, come on. I need to just find a place to stay. It's 1,400 hours. It's already getting pretty late. Uh, that place might be a bit too big to clear out. And it's going to be quite difficult to clear them out. Because, again... Um, yeah, zombies are a bit vicious. I did it before, but I had, like, two other people with me. And when I'm doing my recording, I kind of really want to do it solo. Okay, this is another thing that makes me think that it's the pre-rendered world. I've never seen the signs in the random gen. Yeah, I hear a couple of zombies. So we got a cheerleader here, which I should be able to take care of. <sighs> Unless I get stunned, and then I'm just screwed. Uh, painkillers. I have plenty of painkillers, at least. Alright, I wonder if I'm slowed because I have a broken leg. The game, or the, the player, the character, is is significantly slowed. Like, I move significantly slower than I normally do. Yeah. I apparently have drawn every zombie within... a hundred yards, it would seem. Come on. Ah! Yeah. As I said, I seem to be significantly slowed. Is my health still regenerating? I think it is. All right, I got a crawler here. Probably came out of the information center. All right, there's that guy. 
hoping to be able to do some more clearing out. I don't know how many zombies are in here, so I don't know how much of a pain in the ass this is about to be. Alright, there's two there. There's one over there. Seems to be extremely pissed off. There's three over there. I wonder if I can draw these guys outside. Come on, guys. Come on. And there's a couple out here now. Yeehaw. What time is it? 1,500 hours. So that's 3 p.m. Whoop. Come on, guys. Let's see if I can just draw them away. And maybe I can get them to just leave the place alone, by chance? Because I'm kind of very screwed, for the most part. I might have to make this a multiplayer uh, series. Assuming that I can convince somebody in my little circle of friends to get a decent mic. Hmm. That's why I'm not... That's why. I, that's one of the reasons why I kind of don't want to record with people, is because their mics kind of suck. For the record, I'm hurting the zombies so they're in a nice little group right here, so I can draw them away better, so I don't lose any of them. This is a general idea, anyways. And then what I'll do is I'll get, like, over there somewhere, and then I'll just zip around them quickly and hopefully I can get them to forget about me and I can take over that building there for the night. It's the idea anyways. Some of these zombies seem to be faster than others. Hmm. I wonder if they did that intentionally because I'm seeing the ladies, the cheer or the nurses, the bloated zombies are all in the slower group, but the, I guess those are the nude survivor, or no, nude infected, or whatever they're called, and the cheerleader are faster. Hmm. I wonder if that was, I wonder if this is just coincidence or if that was intentional. All right, do we think we're far enough away? Hopefully, let's find out. Just run go over there right now and hopefully they forget about me. It's the goal anyways. And then I should be able to clear up any stragglers that might be around. Because there's that guy right there. One zombie I can take care of. Oh! What the hell? Is there a cactus there or something? Oh, it was a crawler that I didn't see. I totally didn't see it. Her. I got hit by a crawler, didn't even notice. You can't get out of there fast enough anymore. <sighs> there I go. Yeah. See, uh, they slowed down the player considerably. That wasn't because I had a broken bone or anything. You might actually be slower with a broken bone, but uh, that, or the character being slowed. Like, right now, I'm just walking normally. They just... They added that to the game. That was something with the Alpha 11. I got a weapon, at least. Large bones. They can be turned into weapons. They can be used as weapons. Glass jar, some blueberries. There's a sign. Scrap lead, car air filter... I'm, I'm really hoping to find something useful. Duke's Casino Tokens. Yeah, apparently they want to put some currency in the game or something. Don't know why. I really don't know why. Because if anything's going to be currency, it's going to be bullets. Wasn't there a game like that that had bullets as currency? And, like, you had to be really, really careful with it because you use bullets not only to actually buy things, but to shoot things. 
Because that was a really good idea for currency. That made sense for currency. Because the bullet... Or... Yeah. Um... Now I lost track of what I was saying. Because bullets are valuable, it would make sense that they would be worth a lot for trading. So it would make sense that they would make that currency. Whereas Duke's casino tokens, not useful. Okay, that's that deer. Still keeping an ear out for the zombies. All right, what do I have? I have small stones. I don't have any sticks. Let's see, sticks, sticks, sticks. I could make sticks. Ah, but there's sticks right here. And I think I hear a zombie. Crap. Right, let's stick around right here, because there don't seem to be many zombies around here. I think I hear a zombie over that way, but hopefully it'll get distracted by the walking venison. Alright, so stick, plant fibers, that's something they changed. You just get plant fibers now, you don't get grass and then have to make plant fibers. And then small stone, you don't have to cut into a sharpened stone. You can just do it like this now, You don't. there's no intermediary step anymore. Plus there's this, you see how the bar underneath it is gray? And it says, Faulty Stone Axe. Now, the bar under here is, like, yellow, and it says, Poor Iron Reinforced Club. Orange? Yellow? Not sure. Colorblind. But, uh, they have quality levels on your equipment now. And you have to level up. Yes, there are levels in the game. And the higher your level, the, uh better equipment you can craft and it's like gray yellow orange magenta or something like that i forget i know the magenta ish one is the highest level the gray one is the lowest level and it's 1700 hours i'm in the middle of fucking nowhere and that is a dog let's go the other way Dogs are vicious. They are crazy, crazy vicious. Now, you if you could run away from them, they'll lose interest in you. I've only ever managed to actually succeed at running away from a dog long enough for 18 seconds. Once. And I turned around to see that I had lost interest, that the dog had lost interest in me, and it did. It was walking away, and then it turned around and chased me again. That's a radiation zone, isn't it? Yeah, that's a radiation zone. Damn it! Oop. What else? Did they change anything else really important? Probably, I just don't know about it yet. I didn't actually read the change log. All the changes I've been hearing, or all the changes that I know about, I've heard about from people who had read the change log. So, they might not be 100% accurate. They're definitely not 100% complete. But I guess the important thing right now is that uh, the game is better optimized. It does run better. It does run smoother. It looks prettier. Like, all the textures have been updated. And uh, anybody who had save games in the old version probably lost them in the new version. Oh well. That's the way it goes. Oop. Okay. So now that I've cleared out that little area, let's go see if I can find a cabin in the woods somewhere. Granted, that's probably not going to make any difference because I'm probably just going to die anyways. Which sucks. What was it? I need to find a barbed club. Because I was playing this before. One of the times that I died, I respawned near a car. And in the car was a barbed club, a magenta barbed club. So the really high quality one. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> it just killed everything in one shot. Until it started running out of durability. Because the damage that you can do with a weapon changes.
based on durability or quality durability and your stamina so if your stamina is low you do less damage if the durability is low it does less damage so on and so forth so me beating at things to get supplies is probably a dumb idea but it's so much faster than doing it with your fists I can find a flashlight flashlights don't have any durability rating like at all <sighs> and uh is that a dog no that's garbage yeah flashlights don't have any durability rating and they do do extra damage like twice the damage i think from your fists at least that's what i was from my from what i was counting it takes three strikes with your fist to break gla grass it, or no, it takes six strikes with your fist to break grass. Oh, shit. <laughs> They're running zombies now. Oh, and there's a bunch of them. Yeah, heading towards that village was a dumbass idea. I'm probably screwed again. be really 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 nice if I could like not die <sighs> well this is disappointing very disappointing and then this is just gonna be a continuous loop until morning I'm sure You know what I'm going to try doing, which I know will make for poor viewing. Oh, somebody spawned here already. Crap. Um, I should probably stick around this area a bit. And, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully not draw any zombies. Hopefully there aren't any just out for a stroll or something. Uh, all the backpacks, no. Garbage, no. Are there any rocks around? I could use some rocks. Let's see if I can, or at least make a axe. Hopefully I don't go too far away. So, yeah, um, I think I might put this series on hold for a little bit. Because if it get if it's this difficult that I can't actually do anything, then... I'm hearing voices again. They're telling me to kill all humans. And drink lowbrow. Okay. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. The, the the series might go on a little bit of a hiatus. Because if I just perpetually keep dying over and over and over again, that might, might, might be fun for some people playing the game. But I can imagine it'd be boring as fuck for people watching me play the game. And, uh... Yeah, I'm not finding any stone. But yeah, I mean, if I can't progress through the game, then I can't continue my series like I want to. I can't actually reach my goal. And it kind of makes the series completely pointless. Hey, that's a stone. Boop, small stone. Yay, I can make my axe now, finally. So, yeah, I guess... I don't know, I guess I'm going to have to think about this for a little while. I am a little disappointed in the updates, making it this much harder to play. Um, and I might just not have the skills enough to keep playing this game. Or at least keep recording this game, I should say. Now, I don't know. If I can't make any progress in this at all, then yeah, I definitely won't continue playing this game because... 
Well, if you can't make progress in a game, you'll find it boring as fuck. That's why I stopped playing quite a few games. And it's gotten really foggy. I mean, they've done a lot in this game. This game is... I mean, it, it's a well-built game so far. They've put a lot into it, like the fog that just rolled in, making it really hard to see anything. Kind of sucks. The deserts have... Um, uh, standstorms. Yeah, that's it. The, the, the burned biome. The burned forest. Straight up looks like hell. I mean, you walk into the... There are burning embers lying everywhere that if you stand or if you walk on, you catch yourself on fire. Okay? Yeah, I think that's a pretty close definition to hell. It, it's basically pretty vicious. Oh, sh shit. Yeah, so... Ah, fuck. I think I'm going to end this episode here. And I will say to you guys, as always, and as best as possible, keep playing the game, and have fun.